The 6.2 patch has arrived, and with it there's a whole new set of ways for you to gear up. In this quick and easy preview, you'll find out everything you need to know about gearing in this patch, including some stuff that's yet to come. My name is Ivona from MomsDen.com, and if this is your first time around here, subbing is a good idea. I make simple FF14 guides that'll answer some of your questions in no time and give you quick in-game wins. I also live stream on YouTube and Twitch quite a bit, so if you're a fan of awesome communities, in-game and other highlights, I'm sure I'll see you around. If you're starting fresh and you want to get the first available gear, you can purchase the I-Level 590 Radiant gear for the Tombstones of Astronomy in Radzathan over at Kehanti. Next to her is Kaldeen, who will upgrade this gear from 590 to 600 with Radiant Roborants, Twines and Coatings. You'll receive these items in exchange for your Aglea coins over at Nasvaz, and since Aglea's restrictions have been lifted, you can get as many of these coins as you need right now. You can receive I level 595 gear from the new Endwalker 6.2 dungeon, the Fell Court of Troya, which is still pretty good to have if you haven't gotten your 600s through upgrades yet. At the moment, you can get I level 610 gear in two different ways. The first one is buying or crafting the Rinasita gear, but I highly recommend waiting another few days as the gear pieces are still super expensive. The 610 alternative to this is doing your Abyssal's normal weekly runs. You're limited to looting one token per run, so depending on what you need, this could take a while, but you should definitely start on week one. The tokens can be exchanged in Razathan over at Jolde. Weapons can be slightly higher item level, sitting at 615 as the loot from the new 6.2 Extreme Trial. This is a non-spoiler video, so I won't be naming names, but the weapons are called Windswept, and apart from looting them, you can exchange 10 Windswept Archfiend Totems at Nasvaz, who will tell you the name of the boss as you click on it, so don't do it if you don't want any spoilers. The new Casualty Tombstones have a weekly cap of 450 as per usual, but they will get you the much-desired Isle level 620 gear over at Kehanti. Choose carefully and gear your main job first, as you'll need the higher item levels for the endgame content next week. When it comes to the weapon, apart from the tombstones, you'll also need the ultralight tombstone. You'll get this one by exchanging 7 unsung blades of abyssus, which is what you'll receive after completing the 8th circle of abyssus, and they're on a weekly lockout. Make sure you've got 500 tombstones of casualty in stock in 7 weeks when you finally exchange your currencies, as this is currently the best weapon you will be able to receive, not counting savage. My guess is that we're at some point going to have a way to upgrade this gear to eye level 630, so hold on to it even if you choose to wear something else. When it comes to Abyssos Savage, we don't have a lot of info yet, but the gear should be sitting at 630 and the weapon would be at eye level 635. The token exchange is the same as before, and you can only roll on one item per clear, so choose wisely. And that should be it when it comes to gearing, at least for now. I'll be updating the gearing guides as time goes on, so if you're interested in this, don't forget to sub and stay caught up with them. Massive thanks to everyone supporting the channel, and especially our alphas like Kathy Spear on YouTube memberships, as well as Andy Min, Space Cadet Rick, and Elijah Baker over on Patreon. If you'd like to join them and keep the content going, all the links are in the description of this video. Enjoy the patch, have fun, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye bye.